This is an excellent view of the volcano eruption. Oh, that's the Iceland volcano eruption. You can see that. We are just looking directly into the old channel uh, where the lava was flowing. What you see here is a, like a waterfall. But this uh, volcano, the lava is very, uh, the magma is very water rich. So when it comes, it really uh, bubbles up. Uh, it's very runny because of the water content. As you can see, the vapor is rising from it as water. Um, and um, as we know, now it's going to, oh, it broke the wall, it's uh, overspilled. Now it's going to erupt in a big, uh, big explosion. Um, as usual, what it does is like this. You can see that uh, the bubbles making it to boil. The water vapor, expanding water vapor. Ah, it's, it's overwhelming the walls. Um, volcano is a kind of pulsation. Uh, every 7 to 12 minutes uh, it has a new fresh lava. As the pressure decreases, the, la the magma melts. The magma is not molten, you know, it's hot, it's under pressure when it comes from the mantle. But when the pressure is removed uh, on the top, it immediately melts. And that's what you will see here. Now, as the height of the volcano is increasing, the lava has to come up um, higher. The magma has to come, come up higher. It needs more pressure behind it. And uh, it will get a little difficult more, but that means also the power needed will be higher to push the volcano, uh, the magma up. It's like a syringe, you have to apply pressure from underneath. The source of it is in the mantle, so <laughs> the pressure comes from there. And that area is expanding. This is a mid-Atlantic ridge, practically exposed at the surface. And when it when it expands, there's left and right getting separate from each other. It removes the pressure, and the pressure removed melts the the magma. And magma is not molten. Magma, when it melts, becomes lava. And then uh, it, it will just erupt. The pressure is removed, and when the pressure is removed, it's like a pressure cooker, it erupts. Beautiful.